So I've got a few minutes spare between um, some work stuff, so I just thought I'd give it a real quick update on the boot situation. Um, so in the previous video, we talked about the Soldier of Fortune repros that I bought and how we'd um, give them a go. Now, at the moment, uh, at the time of that video, I hadn't actually done any events in these boots. Um, I, since, since then, I've done quite a lot of walking and two pretty big events. So, let's see how they've done so far. So, well, first of all, they were really, really uncomfortable after the first one because they were rubbing and biting in, in around this area here. So I spent a lot of time softening them with um, um, leather conditioner and uh, dubbing, uh, literally every day. I then stuffed it out with a really wet t-shirt as hard as I could and left it overnight and then once again dubbing and leather conditioner. And since then they are as comfy as a pair of slippers. Okay, so the biting around this area here is no longer an issue. Now, what some other people have told me was that the Soldier of Fortune ones have got a habit of creasing around the toe cap. Now, um, of course I couldn't tell if that was going to be true or not, so, well, you know, after my uh, second, second event and a, quite a long route march with the Suffolk Regiment, I have noticed a slight crease around the boot toe cap. So, is it going to get worse? Is it going to be an acceptable crease? Or are they a pile of crap? So, like I said, this is a quick update after some walking, a bit of running, and um, two, two fairly large events with these boots. Um, so I'm going to come back in another couple of events or months or whatever's first, you never know with Covid, and we'll see how it goes from there. In the meantime, I'd just like to show you a new pair of boots I got, okay? New, well, they are actually 1952 dated, okay? 1952 dated, um, British Army ammo boots, um, hobnailed. They've got these three kind of clover looking ones, which according to a book and some advice were used during the wars. And these are in amazing condition. Lovely pebble grained effect. Oh, I don't know if it's an effect, it's just the leather. Um, absolutely brilliant condition. Don't, doesn't look like they were hardly used at all. So looking forward to trying those out. But we'll just put the two side by side. So original and the SOF. Crease. Now these are obviously harder, these are softer. So it's going to be a case of seeing if these last. Um, apart from that, I'm really happy with them. They're unbelievably comfortable. Um, the soles are great. I think the quality is good, but this could be an issue. So stay tuned for another boot update.